I like to discuss topics related to infrared photography. In this video, I'll look at what are sometimes called cap lenses. These are prime, fixed aperture, and fixed focus lenses. While they may resemble pinholes, they're technically not pinholes as they have a small number of lens elements. They're smaller than most pancake lenses, so they fit somewhere between pinholes and pancakes. At the end of the video, I'll share what really surprised me about using this style of lens. These are available from Funleader or Seven Artisans. There are also a few pinhole lenses available from Thingify. The lens I'm using is the Seven Artisans 18mm f6.3, purchased from Amazon for $69. US This lens has a low profile and is very lightweight. It's a prime lens with a fixed focal length of 18mm. The aperture is also fixed at f6.3. The focus is fixed. Everything from about one foot to infinity is in focus. With so many fixed settings, you can really concentrate on your composition. And the best part of this lens is that there are no hot spots in infrared. This lens is also inexpensive, although if you're looking for the lowest price, I've actually paid less for vintage lenses, which offer a higher quality. Many of the images I'm showing here use the new color grading feature in Lightroom, and I must say that I'm absolutely loving it. It adds a lot of nuance to infrared images. On the downside, this lens has poor image quality. It's not sharp, it's very soft. I thought that the focus might be softer in infrared than in visible light due to the focusing differences, but they're similar. In fact, if I zoom into 100%, the infrared looks slightly sharper. Regardless, this lens won't be winning any sharpness contests. There's strong vignetting. There's no filter threads for mounting external filters. As an aside, the Thingify pinhole does offer threads for external filters. In summary, I enjoyed using the 7 Artisans 18mm. I like being able to focus on shooting without worrying about settings. While the image quality is not great, it's certainly good enough for social media. Oddly enough, by removing the constant nagging concern about image quality, it allowed me to be more carefree in my shooting and capture images that I probably wouldn't have otherwise. A lens like this could be a good way to give you a new perspective and get out of your own head. Have you tried a cap lens or pinhole with infrared photography? Let us know how it worked in the comments. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Do you have any topics related to infrared photography that you'd like to see addressed? Leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.